will appear maybe even a top five in, in a top five by the end of the year what's up crypto crew and welcome back or if this is your first time i'm captain crypto might actively escape in the matrix scoping out the crypto ocean so if you like your odds get on the boat stay up to date thumbs up and join the hunt what other cryptocurrency should you buy what's the next bitcoin well in today's video we will do a comparison between caspa and ethereum now i'm a caspian a caspa maxi meaning more than 80 percent of my portfolio is invested in caspa i might be biased so yes caspa is my long-term high conviction play but looking objectively at the tech Looking at the fundamentals, Caspa is the best and revolutionary crypto coin since Ethereum. In fact, Caspa's fundamentals have a higher ceiling than Ethereum. That's why I say Caspa is not just revolutionary, it's evolutionary. You can watch more about that in this vid. Now, let's get into the comparison of Caspa versus Ethereum. The current market cap of Caspa is in and around 4 billion USD versus a market cap of 427 billion USD for Ethereum. So Ethereum is around 100 times larger than Caspa at the making of this recording. Ethereum's current supply is 120 million versus Caspa's current supply of 23.9 billion Caspa. Now, overall, around 83.4% of the total supply of Caspa has been mined, knowing Caspa has a maximum supply of 28.7 billion. With Ethereum, well, there is no hard cap on the supply of Ethereum, so the maximum supply is infinite. You broke my cover! Ethereum is a proof of stake, and that means you can own a certain stake of Ethereum, and you have no idea what your percentage stake of the network will be in 10 to 20 years from now. Whereas Caspa is a proof of work, therefore you can take your position of Caspa and figure out exactly what percentage of the network you own. Nobody can ever debase your share of the ledger. You will know what percentage of the Caspa network, in the case you'd never settle, you will always own because no one can ever dilute you. So just looking at the market cap of both Ethereum versus Caspa, if and when Caspa ever reaches the market cap of Ethereum, Caspa will be worth 17 USD per Caspa coin, which is a 100x from today's price. Now, decentralization is the core and nature of a blockchain. Security is an essential property, whereas scalability has been the main challenge. These three form the trilemma, which was a phrase coined by Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin, who accredited Jonathan Sompolinsky, the founder of Caspa. So consensus um, runs on these two big algorithms. One of them is this LMD ghost fork choice rule, which is an adaptation of um, this ghost algorithm that was invented by um, Jonathan Sompolinsky in 2013 to a proof of stake context. And the main goal of LMD Ghost is to be able to handle um, a network latency, be able to handle fast messages. So far, the crypto ocean has brought forth cryptos that can only tackle two out of the three problems, decentralization, scalability, or security, but not all three. Until November 2021, when Caspa was launched at the start of the previous bear market. Not only has Caspa been bullish ever since, even during the bear market, not only has Caspa yet to see its first bull run, Caspa is the first crypto project that has effectively solved the trilemma using a new technology called the Block DAG. This means Caspa has the potential to at least be a safe, decentralized, and scalable alternative form of payment in the real world. Caspa in its current form can create one blocks per second. Practically speaking, that means Caspa can handle about 400 transactions per second. I say current form because the Caspa team is optimizing its network, allowing Caspa to create 10 blocks per second soon. Eventually, when the Caspa network is scaled up to 100 blocks per second, Caspa will be able to handle a whopping 40,000 transactions per second, which is the level Visa Cards operates on. Cool. And keep in mind, crypto crew, Visa is in the actual business of scalability and transactions. Ethereum in its current state can handle around 13 to 15 transactions per second. The maximum ever recorded transactions per second of Ethereum has been barely over 60. Ethereum has been around for a while, but Ethereum lacks in speed, and because this relatively low level of scalability, the gas fees are quite high, which has been a common issue with Ethereum. The overall
overall average transaction fee with Ethereum has been around 2.4 US dollars in the past four to five years, with transaction fee having been a glaring issue on the Ethereum chain, especially with all of the meme coins that are built on the Ethereum network. At points, those Ethereum gas fees have even reached as high as $100 per transaction. So on top of the fact Ethereum had a lot of pre-allocated holders, more on that later, and Ethereum is centralized, in its current state, Ethereum is not scalable at all. On the flip side, Caspa is scalable as Caspa has a very low transaction fee of 0.002 Caspa. And with its current Caspa price, that is a 2,000th of a Caspa coin, which is equal to a fraction of a penny. 0.00003 US dollars. Now, obviously, these fees will rise as the value of Caspa rises. That said, even when Caspa ever reaches the market cap of Ethereum, which again is a 100x increase in price from today's vid, then assuming the transaction fee remains constant at 0.0002 Caspa, this still will be equivalent to one third of a penny. And that still is 100 times cheaper than the average Ethereum transaction. Now there's another difference in this comparison of Ethereum versus Caspa protocols. As mentioned earlier, Caspa was fair launched, whereas Ethereum had a pre-mine. So Ethereum had 72 million ETH coins pre-mined before the initial coin offering or ICO, 12 million of those 72 were allocated to the Ethereum Foundation. Give me a second, I'll switch it up. Not so much the case with Caspa, which was completely fair launched. No pre-mine, no ICO, and mining was available to everyone who knew about the Caspa protocol ever since the first or Genesis block, with zero coins being pre-allocated to the Caspa team. This crypto crew is what makes crypto because pre-allocation means manipulation. Pre-mining initial coin offerings or ICO means that these people have a head start to the game, meaning at any time the people who held the coin before the launch could dump it on retail investors like you and me who have to buy the coin at market price. Unlike Ethereum, Caspa has had a harder time to get listed on tier 1 exchanges. Having no pre-allocated coins means that exchanges have to gain Caspa coins just like every retail investor at fair market price. Talking about top 10 uh, that we're not already on uh, on the coin coin market cap ranks of exchanges yeah. will, will appear maybe even a top 5 in, in a top 5 by the end of the year. However, there is a tier 1 exchange in the pipeline as Kraken has officially put Casper on their roadmap, meaning it is a matter of time before Casper will be officially listed on Kraken's spot list. Also, Binance is eyeing Casper as the Cas coin has already been listed on Binance Future. During its development, Ethereum switched from proof of work to a proof of stake protocol. Proof of stake is a system where holders of the cryptocurrency lock up or stake their coins, use them to vote on the valid blockchain, and get rewarded with more coins for successfully creating new blocks instead of committing electricity and processing power. In other words, staking is creating new tokens out of thin air. Similar how the current fiat system works where money is printed without anything of value backing that money. ETH stake of coins was made possible to try and increase the scalability of Ethereum to bring the gas fees down. Stick around. Proof of work, on the other hand, requires work or resources to produce, in this case, a Caspa coin or token. And since Caspa is a proof of work, Caspa is a commodity. Since Ethereum is a proof of stake, Ethereum is not a commodity, it is an equity. In a proof of work protocol, a percentage ownership of the chain and ledger does not give an investor as you or me more power whatsoever. No matter if you're speaking about a 1,000 Caspa holder or a 1 billion Caspa holder. Why? Because Caspa is proof of work. Nobody has more power over the next person, which essentially is what cryptocurrency was created for in the first place. So it's true? Yes. Too much is true. At the making of this vid, Caspa sits just outside the top 20 ranked crypto coins on coin market cap. And with Caspa's development technologically, 
growing in hash rate and in market cap, so will the project as a whole and inevitably help shoot up the price per Casper coin. Now, although Ethereum was the first blockchain to introduce smart contracts, which shot the price up from $80 to close to $5,000 USD per Ethereum coin by the end of the last bull run in 2021, essentially Ethereum still is a proof of stake project. It is centralized and as you have seen today is not scalable. Yet at the making of this vid, Ethereum is second highest ranked crypto coin behind Bitcoin, which in my opinion has to do with perception. Most people on this crypto ocean do not do any research. They just go by what the mainstream says about crypto when the mainstream doesn't know much about crypto to begin with. That said, every cycle, the crypto ocean evolves. There are new people entering the market, thus more eyes on what's real and what's not. Fundamentally, Caspa has the tech to compete with every crypto. Caspa has unique features that even Bitcoin and Ethereum do not possess. And so what Caspa needs is time and adoption. Win a few, you lose a few, but you keep on fighting. Because the developments of Caspa's KRC20, which allows for more meme coins to build on the Caspa network, and an improved version will be relaunched in a matter of weeks at the making of this recording. The smart contracts, which will be much improved compared to current providers such as BNB, Solana, and Ethereum being faster, cheaper on top of being decentralized. And the imminent listings on tier one exchanges Kraken and probably Binance. Hopefully the other top exchanges, Crypto.com, Robinhood USA, and Coinbase will follow suit. With Caspa yet to see its first bull run, Caspa has a lot of momentum going on with the bull run still have to fully ignite. I personally think Caspa will touch a new all-time high soon, hit $1 per Caspa coin by the end of 2024, maybe a bit higher than $1, and then probably top out at the bull run in 2025 with three possibilities, either a $3 Caspa price, which in my opinion is a bearish prediction, a $5 to $7 price, which is more of a realistic prediction, or an $8 dollars and above price per Casper coin, which is bullish. I do think Casper will flip the likes of previous bullish coins such as Polkadot, Cardano, XRP, and BNB becoming a top 10 crypto coin, maybe top 5. Eventually, I think Casper outperforms Solana, but maybe not yet this bull run. Not sure if Casper will flip Ethereum, and if it does, I don't think that happens in this bull run either. But I do think Casper will inevitably become a top three crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Casper. Crypto life. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Growing grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say ah.